Hi, welcome to the Corbin Miles video solutions to the distance charts practice questions. In this video, I'm going to go through the solutions to distance charts. If you do need any extra help on distance charts, if you go to corbinmiles.com forward slash contents and scroll down to video 318, that's the video tutorial on distance charts. Alternatively, you could scan the QR code in the front of this booklet. OK, let's get started. So question number one. So question number one, question number one says the distance chart below shows the distances in miles between some towns and cities. So we've got Cambridge, Ipswich, Norwich and Peterborough. And we've got the distances in miles. And our question A says write down the distance between Ipswich and Peterborough. So there's Ipswich and there's Peterborough. So we're going to go down and across. So this is the distance between them, which would be 82 miles. Question B says write down the distance between Norwich and Cambridge. So if we've got Cambridge and Norwich, if we look and see where the column and row meet, so if we go down and across, it meets here at 64 miles. The distance between Cambridge and Norwich or Norwich and Cambridge is 64 miles. Question number C says write down the names of the places that are 78 miles apart. So if we go up to the distance chart and we look for the 78, so here we've got 78 and that's going to be Norwich and Peterborough. So let's write that down. And part D, part D says write down the names of the places that are 43 miles apart. So if we go back up to our distance chart and look for 43 miles, that's here. And that's Cambridge and Peterborough. So Cambridge and Peterborough are 43 miles apart. OK, that's question number one. Let's have a look at question number two. So question number two, we've got our distance chart and we've got some towns, towns that I've made up, Fox Town, Sandcliffe, Red Island and Donhampton. And the table shows the distances in miles by road between some towns. So we've got, for instance, Fox Town and Sandcliffe are 26 miles apart and so on. So part A, part A says write down the distance between Red Island, so Red Island and Fox Town. So if we come down from Fox Town and across from Red Island, you can see here it's going to be 51 miles. So the answer is 51 miles. Question 2b, write down the names of the towns which are the least distance apart. So let's look at the, our table and let's look for the smallest distance. So we've got 26, 51, 38, 25, 29, 49. So it's going to be 25 miles. So that's between Sandcliffe and Red Island. So let's write that down. So that's Sandcliffe and Red Island. OK, let's have a look at our next part. So we're told some information first of all. We've got this person, Martin, and he lives in Foxtown and he works in Donhampton. And he drives to work in the morning and back home in the evening. And he works Monday to Friday. Work out how many miles Martin drives each week to work. OK, so we have got our chart and we've got Foxtown and Donhampton. So he lives in Foxtown. Let's clear our writing that we've got already. So he lives in Foxtown. So he lives here and he works in, is it Donhampton? Donhampton. So that they are, so if he travels from home to work, it will take him 38 miles. So each journey is 38 miles. So let's write that down. 38 miles is each journey, so 38 miles. And what we could do is we could work out how much he travels each day. So he, that would be double that, which would be 76. And then we can multiply it by five because he works five days a week. So we could do 38 multiplied by two is equal to 76. He, work, he travels 76 miles to work and back every day. So then we would do 76 multiplied by five because he works Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And if we do 76 multiplied by five, let's see what that would give us. And it's a non-calculator question. So let's do that using our column method of multiplication. So 76 multiplied by five. Six times five is equal to 30. So put our zero down, carry off three. Five times seven is 35 plus three is 38. So the answer would be 380 miles. So that's one way to do it. Now there is a bit of a nicer way to do it, I think. He travels to work and back every day. So that's two journeys and there's five days. So altogether there'd be 10 journeys, five going to work and then five coming back from work. So altogether that's 10 journeys. So we could just do 38 multiplied by 10, which again would be 380. And that's it. OK, let's have a look at our next question. Question number three. So question number three, we've got some places, again, places I've made up. So Bilton, Newtown, Portsville, Leek and Castletown. And the table shows the distances in miles between some cities. So it's miles and not kilometres. And part A says write down the distance between Bilton and Leek. So Bilton and Leek, if you come down and across, you'll see that's 75 miles. OK, our next part, part B. So part B says James drives from Newtown to Castletown, then from Castletown to Bilton, and then from Bilton to Leek. And we've been asked to work out the total distance he travels. So let's work out the distance, first of all, from Newtown to Castletown. So Newtown to Castletown 
would be if we come down and across 53 miles so that's going to be 53 miles so let's try that down then from castle town to bilton so let's go back up castle town and bilton so castle town's here and bilton is here so that's going to be 64 miles there so we've got our 53 to begin with then we've got our 64 so let's write that down 64 and finally from bilton to leak he travels from bilton to leak so if we go down from bilton and across the leak you can see that's 75 miles so let's write that down 75 miles now we've been asked to work out the total distance travelled, so we're going to do 75 plus 64 plus 53, and let's add them up and see what we get. 5 plus 4 is equal to 9, plus 3 is equal to 12, so put our 2 down, carry our 1. 7 plus 6 is 13, plus 5 is 18, plus 1 is 19, so it'll be 192 miles. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So question number four. So question number four says, here's a route map between four towns. So we've got Swan Town, Green Island, Newham, and Oldham, Oldham, Oldville. And the distance is in kilometers, so kilometers between the towns are shown on the map. So we know that it's 42 kilometers from Swan Town to Green Island, 32 kilometers from Green Island to Newham, and then from Newham to Oldville, we don't know that distance. But we're told the distance from Swan Town to Oldville is 95 kilometers. So part A says work out the distance from Newham to Oldville. So we were trying to work out this distance. So if we add the two that we've been given and take it away from 95, we can then see this distance. We can work out that distance. So we're going to do 42 plus 32. So 2 plus 2 is 4 and 4 plus 3 is 7. So that's 74 kilometers from Swan Town to Newham. And then from Newham to Oldville or Newham to Oldville, it would be 95 take away 74. And when we do that, we get 5 take away 4 is 1 and 9 take away 7 is 2. So that distance would be 21 kilometers. Okay, our next question, part B. Part B, we've been asked to complete the distance chart to show the distance between the towns. So we've worked out the distance from Newham to Oldville, and that's 21 kilometres. So let's put that on, 21 kilometres. The 32 and the 42 has been put in there for us. Now, we were told the distance from Swan Town to Oldville, the, whole, the total distance from Swan Town to Oldville, and that was 95 kilometres. So let's put that in, like so. Now, we're trying to work out these two distances, so Swan Town to Newham. So if we go up to our map, Swan Town to Newham. So if we add our 42 and our 32, but well we've done that, the 74. So 74 kilometers would go here. And finally, if we go back up, the distance from Oldville to Green Island would be this distance. So if we look at it, Green Island to Oldville, this distance. If we add together the 32 and the 21, that's 53. So that means that that distance would be 53 kilometers. Okay, and that's it. Okay, next question, question number five. So question number five, the distance chart below shows the distances in miles between some towns and cities. So we've got Bath, Bristol, Froome, Swindon and Trowbridge, and we've got the distances between them. And we're told some information in this question. Ethan gets a taxi from Trowbridge to Bath. So he's going from Trowbridge to Bath. So Trowbridge is here and Bath is here. So that distance is 12 miles. And the question says, the journey costs £2.40 per mile plus a £3.30 pickup charge. Ethan pays with £10 notes. Work out how many £10 notes Ethan will need. You must show you're working. So let's start by finding out the cost of the journey. So it's a 12 mile journey because he's gone from Trowbridge to Bath. So it's 12 miles and that costs £2.40 per mile. So if we do 12 multiplied by £2.40, that would tell us the cost for the cost per mile. And then we're going to add on £3.30 because it's a £3.30 pickup charge. So it is equal to £28.80. Now we're also told there's a £3.30 pickup charge, so plus £3.30 is equal to £32.10p. So that's how much the taxi journey will cost him if he travels from Trowbridge to Bath. Now he pays with £10 notes, so that's either £10, £20, £30, £40. Well, £30 wouldn't be enough, so he's going to need the £40, especially if he's going to give a tip as well to the taxi driver. So it's going to cost him, four, uh, he's going to have to give four £10 notes across, So because he's obviously going to want to give him the £40, he mustn't have any change of £5 notes. So he's going to have to give him four notes, and then that's our answer. So how many notes will he need? He'll need four notes, because three notes wouldn't be enough. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So question number six, so this is our last question. And question number six says, the chart shows the distances in miles by road between some towns. So we've got Jacksonville, we've got Bakerstown, Milton and Greenwood. And Lexi travels from Milton to Jacksonville. So from Milton to Jacksonville, so that is 105 miles. And this is a calculated question. And she travels that in three hours. So 105 miles is the distance. 
And the question part A says, work out the average speed of the journey from Milltown to Jacksonville. So you want to work out her speed. There's two different ways we can do this. Remember, speed is miles per hour. And this question is miles per hour. You can see that from the answer section. So it's miles per hour. So we know she travels 105 miles in three hours. So if we divide 105 by three, we can see how many miles she travels an hour. So if we do 105 divided by three, that's equal to... 35. So her average speed would be 35 miles per hour. She does 35 miles every hour. So that's one way to consider it. Alternatively, you can remember the speed is equal to distance divided by time. So the distance is 105. The time is three hours. 105 divided by three would be 35. So the answer is 35 miles per hour. Okay, part B. Part B says Lexi then drives from Jacksonville to Greenwood. So Jacksonville to Greenwood. So Jacksonville to Greenwood, that would be 30 miles. So she travels 30 miles. And her average speed is 40 miles per hour. So we've got her speed. And the question says, how long did it take Lexi to drive from Jacksonville to Greenwood? Well, time is equal to distance divided by speed. So if we divide the distance, which is 30 miles, by the speed, which is 40 miles per hour, we will find the time. And 30 divided by 40 is equal to 0.75. So it takes her 0.75 hours, or remember 0.75 is three quarters, so it takes her three quarters of an hour, or 45 minutes. So you could write 45 minutes, or suppose you could write 0.75 hours, depending on what the question asks. If it says it give your answer in minutes, then the answer would be 45 minutes. I would probably tend to give it as 45 minutes. That's it. Okay, so that's it. So these have been the video solutions to the distance chart practice questions. I really, really hope you find this video useful. If you do need any extra help on distance charts, if you go to corporatemaths.com forward slash content and look at video 318, that's a fantastic video there that will help you. I really hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, could you please like it? Can you please subscribe to the YouTube channel? And thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.